an endoscopic EL dissection. Okay, so here you can see very nicely the ear canal. Okay? So the first thing that we want to do is to make an incision to elevate the tympanal meter flap. So 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock. And once you have made the incision, it's very thin, eh? and then you need to elevate the tympano metal flap. Uh, can uh, Nax, what we want to do is we want to go all the way down to the annulus. And once we are in the annulus, we can lift up the annulus. That's the annulus coming into view. And we can lift this up. Coda tympani coming into view as well. And dissect the annulus up to I think, a small tear. The annulus. And now we are inside the middle ear space. Okay? The same way. And now we are in the middle ear space. And then you can see now the structures lifting up the annulus as well. And now you can see the structures in the middle ear. You can see the coda tympani, and you can see the uh, malus, the incurus tapetial joint. And let me just elevate the entire tympanometal flap. In the same way now, I would like to dissect the flap away from the malus itself. Okay. And now we will like to see whether we can dissect the whole thing from the malus. That's the malus there. And see whether we can dissect the whole thing from the malus itself. So that is, you can see the lateral process. To dissect the whole thing so that you can see the entire malus, okay? And that's the umbo. Cut the umbo. There you go. Okay? Is that clear, guys? Yeah. You can see the eustachian tube there round window and you can see uh, right at the promontory can you see the the jacobson's nerve can you see it's bifurcating there yeah. yeah so let me see whether i can suck out the middle ear space and this is ponticulus here okay between the pyramid and the round window niche of the ponticulus the lower part is the steviculum and down here is the funiculus Okay. P S F. So okay. So you can see the round window here. We can see the the eustachian tube and you, can you see there's a discoloration here. Behind the eustachian tube will be the carotid artery, okay? So this is the lateral process as you can see. This is where the attic pocket will be and this would be the pusak space and the space of one throat right in the space of, 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 of one trolch to the left. And then you can see how the ossicles are all kept intact. So let us slowly push away the coda tympani. And now you can see the stapedius tendon here. And that's the pyramid. Right? And then again, you can see the entire foot plate now. And you can see the movement of the foot plate and how the incus is moving to the foot plate. That is the foot plate down there. The posterior cross, the anterior cross, the incurus tapetial joint, and that's the foot plate down there. So now, if you want to do an ethical entrostomy, okay, we don't usually use a drill; we just use a curette. Make sure your curette goes in the right direction. If you are right-handed, this is the movement that you need to do. Make sure you don't go in too deep, because if you go in too deep, you will accidentally injure the uh, ossicles. Same way again. Oh, see. If you go in too deep, you will injure the, the structures. And that's what 
the endoscope will give, will take away from you because you will not get a 3D dimension that you get when you do a microscopic view. So sometimes you can easily injure accidentally. So the same way now, knowing how hit, how hard this guy's head was for the endoscopic skull base, I'm quite sure it won't be easy to curate that much. But this is how we curate and drill this. Now we are able to visualize the head of malus. This is the malus neck. That is the anterior malleolar fold. A bit of a bone there. Sorry, I'll just keep this all away for a while. This is the head, the neck of the malus. I can see the head of malus coming into view. This is the malleolar incurial joint. There. Can you see the joint there? There. That's the joint. That's the body of the malus, of the incus. The short process would be here. And we have preserved the entire ossicle. That is processes cochlear deformities. Can you see, guys? And that is the facial nerve down here. This is the facial nerve here. Right? So can you, let me try to curate a few a bit more. So if we are able to curate more, we should be able to see the head. So always, when you, whenever you do curating, make sure your scope is at a respectful distance from the, from the curate itself. Don't do this. You, can, you will hit the scope, OK? There. You can just about make the head of malus. Can you guys see that? You can just there. Now you can make about the head of malus nicely seen and you can see the superior malleolar fold and you can see the head of uh, incus as well and the superior malleolar in uh, superior incurial ligament and you can see the facial nerve very nicely all right you okay, guys so this is the view that we get once the tympanic membrane has been completely removed here we can see quite nicely the handle of malus the short process the neck the head of malus, the attic and scutum has been removed. You can see the incurial, malleolar incurial joint. And also we can see how the long process of the incus, the pyramid, the stapes foot plate, as well as the anterior and the posterior cross of the stapes as well. The same way, we can just about make out the Processes cochlear deformis, as well as a tensor tympani tendon. And this is the facial nerve, the horizontal segment of the facial nerve. The first genome will be just up here. The second genome will be here with the coda tympani, as you can see. And this will be the eustachian tube here. And the blue of the eustachian tube here is where the calcid artery will be coming up across. The Jacobson nerve. And here we can make out the round window, the ponticulus, stubiculum, and the funiculus. And down here is the hypotympanum as well. Show you the anatomy of the endoscopic view of the middle ear space by using an angle scope. Okay? Can we take a picture as well? So, this again, you can see with an angle scope how we are able to visualize the attic very nicely. We can see the head of malus. The neck, the short process, the incurs in the short process as well. And beneath the incurs, you can see the lateral semicircular canal. In the same way, if I go underneath here, we can see the coda tympani very nicely. Record, please. Sorry, picture, please. And then if we introduce the, the scope a bit more deeper, you can actually make out You can see the tensor tympani muscle, the tensor tympani tendon, the first genu, the facial nerve, the pyramid, stapes, both the anterior and the posterior cross of the stapes. And then if we rotate in this direction, you can see the stabiculum, ponticulus, round window, funiculus, 
as well as the Jacobson nerve and the sinus tympani as well. Picture of this? Okay?